Yellow. Welcome to Vice Grip Garage. In this episode, we're gonna service on the old service truck over here. And that's my 1989 K2500. She's real good. Nicknamed her Beets. Depending on what kind of feller you are, that's either a vegetable or what Waylon Jennings records. And I'm more of a Waylon guy, but she came off a beet farm and it's red, so it made sense in my brain. Good news is, unlike all my other episodes, I actually have a plan this time. I spent 36.4 days putting together a comprehensive unit here, and this is what she looks like. Got door hinges to fix. She's got the old 80 sag on her, and you gotta keep doing the old Lambo to get it to shut. It's getting pretty annoying. Got the hood to fix. It's got the old flop going down the highway. The which ways are shot. You know, go left, go right selectors, and starting to peeve people off when you just yeah! in traffic with the old trailer on. But that's digital stuff. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Serpentine belt. She's she's about shot. Oil change, and since I care about 2%, probably even going to put an air filter in it. And since this is about 36 and a half hours of labor for me, I better get started. Just dig in. Posing on a guy could give you a tour real quick. It's an 89, like I was saying, eight lugger. Got the old handy service box on her that barely works. I think two drawers work still. Got an amount for an old electricity maker I'm gonna plop in here someday and torches will stand up there and air compressor over there. I even zipped down an old receiver hitch last night since she's not pulling grain carts and cultivators anymore that'll be a little more handy she's the three pedal variety four speed selectomatic with the old grandpa gear in her and uh even got the old ford w nothing electric of course got the wall dock supreme seats you can sleep in any walmart parking lot with them they're nice but anyway we're working on these doors because you try to shut them and there you go they just they sag they just they don't want to do nothing i mean you could you could really get on them and then the latch but i just want to do that today it doesn't look right when you go to valet these and they got to slam the doors and these units i guess they call them obs old body style now i don't know this is still a new truck to me but they got a fixed hinge, and what that means is you don't have those selectomatic bolts in here like the old square bodies and round eyes. They just zeus them right on. And then they just got these pins with some Chinese-ism bushings in there that always wear out, and, and then the doors sag. Can't do it because I'm holding the old camera, but you can lift them up and down, so. What a guy can do is either go get the $4.86 bushings, or you can do it the right way, which I'll show you right now. Quick thank you to Jay Cole. He sent the guy a really nice gift card, which you didn't have to do, but thank you very much. I snipped down to Harbor Freight with it and snagged up this jack, and boy is it nice. My old yellow one, wherever it went. It's about 648 pumps to get about three inches off the ground, and this is much, much better, so thank you. So what you want to do here is get some wood from a guy's basement remodel and put her on top of your door adjuster 9000. And uh, this will do nothing, but it makes it look like you care. And then watch your body line here. You just keep cranking on her until you hear uh, the door getting ruined up here on the hinge side. And once you hear the bending and snapping, give her about three more pumps. There's some bending noises. There's some really weird noises. Okay. And then you see that, oh, she's good. And just ease her down like that. And it's already much better. Now, what we're gonna do is just replace this uh, striker unit thingy in here and she'll be good to go. 
Well, after going through the old QC process, I didn't like it. I gotta go higher. So, grabbed an old AC pump, you know, or spacer, and uh, got her in there, and then we're just gonna give on her a little bit more. Perfect. I'm gonna throw some of this liquid wrench penetrating oil in here. That's good stuff. I've been using on everything. You just need a dab. You don't need a lot. Get in there. You now a guy just snags out this old and puts in this new one. And these are pretty easy. What makes it really fun though is when the nut on the other side of the door here, you know, she'll fall down here and then you gotta dig. Don't do it. There she went. That's great. 52 days later, she's in. And now, look at that. I mean, that's, that's factory right there. The old cockpit side's worse, of course. This one, there's a good inch of play just in the old pin down here. So I'm gonna try to put that old pin rehab kit in there, but the bushings are a bugger to get in there, so I'm sure it won't go right, but we'll give her a shot. This one's not even close. Yeah. Maybe if I do it once more. Nope. That escalated quickly. But I'll show you the bushings I'm talking about, and that's these little brass guys that's sitting here. Yeah, that one's completely toast. And then this guy here. So we'll beat the new bushings in and then rehang the doors, but it also gives the guy a better look at these hinges I was talking about earlier. The old trucks they have three bolts, most old trucks. And then you can, or right here, but you can't do that on these units. Run your eyeball down this. Yeah, that'll do her. That'll get you some door sag. The old door's back on, new pin and bushings in, and boom. I mean, that's, that's pretty good, guys. For a four buck fix, that'll work just fine. Well, let's move on to uh, the oil and the serpentine belt, now that the old engine's cooled down, but check out this feature. You want to tow her behind your John Deere tractor? Go ahead and do that. This unit's got a good battery in her. And I already swapped the AC compressor with another good one from the junkyard. This is the 57 t by injected and that means a couple things. She'll actually start for you in the winter and the guy doesn't have to Michael Jackson the throttle. But it also means you get 74 horsepower so she's pretty much gutless. Oil filters on these units are a little bit different than the older 350s. See it there? They shoot out at an angle instead of down like that. We'll snag that out and get the oil out of here quick. Or I guess the Lyle Enigma. Well, today's flavor of oil is Delco 1540 diesel oil. Mainly because it says heavy duty and red, white, and blue on the front here. And then for the fifth quart, I'm going to throw in this Hyperlube. She's got a flag on her, and I used her on another project. I can't remember which one, but I remember my brain saying, hey, I kind of like that stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and use her again. You mix them in here and shake them up, and then they don't come out like honey. I was topping her off here and happened to catch this just laying here. And I'll be dipped if that doesn't run right into the old Tibi unit. And she plugs in here, it looks like. And that massive vacuum leak probably explains my surging. Because she's always trying to auto magically adjust the fuel ratio for you, you know, with them computer machines. Alright, let's see if she builds some oil pressure. Come on. Look at that. Maxed her out. She's got plenty of life left in her. Here's a tip for you. Even though I buy these tools from Harbor Freight and Northern Tool and Walmart, I like to keep them clean. 
I buy these brake parts cleaner in a box. I just like to hit them a little bit before I put them away and shake them down and then when you put them away, next time you grab them, they're not all dirty. I'm gonna throw an air purifier in here. And I'm hunting for every last horsepower out of this thing, so if you run one of them Tokyo Drift intakes on here that's sucking that cold air, let me know what you think and what brand it is and did you actually gain any HPs out of her? Bleep bloop that down below because I'm on the hunt for one. And uh, after you beat these out about 64 times on the barn here, you really do got to replace them. I like these Wix units. They're cheap. I trust them. Good enough. Something like that. I guess I could have shook the gravel out of that their air cleaner base, but that'd take too long. Door hinges. Yep. Hood. Nope. 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 Yep. Yep. Doing pretty good. Well, I've been staring at this belt for about 30 minutes now. And just kind of enjoying some cold snacks, but I suppose the guy better just snag her out of there. I'm going to go ahead and use my belt tensioner 9000. Now, to the untrained eye, this might look like a jack handle, but it's not. Just give her a little bit of... Uh, that. She'll come right out of there. Don't pay attention to how the belt is routed. That way you can really struggle when you put it back on. Get out of there. Come on now. Get, come around over here. Get, go around this. Come around this side of that. Get over on this, around that. How in the devil did it get? There we go. There's a good quarter of an inch of this one here missing. And you can still run them a little bit longer, you know. But I figured I was in here today anyway, so Miles would just snag her out. Ouch! Dang, that chicken wire. Well, going down the road, the sides of the hood do this pretty badly. And uh, the old hood, she's just ripped, split all the way around. So guy's gonna just booger weld that to pieces and make it look worse, but maybe it won't flop around. I can't uh, get the welder turned down enough to keep blowing holes through this. That metal is just so thin. But a couple and then we'll hit her with them and then she'll look just fine. Well, this is a point where if a guy actually cared a little bit, he'd go ahead and smear some mud in there and sand on her, but I don't. I'm just going to take this BMW red and that'll touch her up good enough. Basically, I just don't want it to rust. Yeah, that looks nothing near close. Perfect. That's factory. Can't even tell. That BMW paint. She really blends right into that single stage tractor paint. I'm going to go ahead and put some eye blinkers on her. I like to snip these up before the winter comes because then they jack the price up about a dollar a blade. So we'll throw those on. This one was, she was even zip tied on the arm. Well, I can appreciate that. It didn't really wipe, so to speak. Chipper lays are easy. You just jam them on and you're done. Boop. Fixed. I think I even guessed the right size. <laughs> the old witch ways we shot on this unit. And I'm thinking, or at least I'm hoping, it's one of them their relay unit things under the dash. So I twist her on and uh, give her the old blink. I got nothing either way. So I'm just going to start pulling those out with that and keep replacing them and see what happens. Futzed around with that for about 20 minutes and nothing. And then, uh, yeah, it was just a fuse, but I knew that. I was just showing you that there's, you know, there's relays under there too. This trailer's got the little flat blade electro connector upper thing here. That guy, but the old tow pig, she's got this rounder upper, uh, six point round thing. But I got this old adapter kit because I sure as heck ain't put a wire up. Plug this in and 
see what happens here. <clears throat> oh, that's nice and dirty. So I'm gonna hit that with some brake clean because that does everything. Much better. Just let it dry out a little bit and then stick her in. Got some blankies in there. And all of the front works both sides. That one's got a blankie on her. But the rear end of her down here, she don't blink. Might be the bulb. I don't know. I'm too lazy to stick my head in there. And got this unit here working. And basically just did that by cutting all these open exposed wires they do something not sure what maybe it's the percolator lights but all I really need is tails and tails on the trailer which I got so we're in good shape since we got her all dolled up she's got to go right back to work now so got her rigged up to the trailer here and you probably remember that little doll the old 79 Camaro she needs a little more work than a guy thought but I got something planned for it you guys are going to like. But I got to get her on this unit here and out of here. Keep going. Oh, oh. Nope. reconfigure the old electrotronic winches. After 11 years of using a come along, guy finally realized them were only 90 bucks at Harbor Freight. So I finally just went ahead and did that and boy is that really nice. That sure makes it a lot easier. But if you're curious, it has not changed one single bit. Uh, when I got her back from that barn, literally just slammed her into the shop walked away from it and that's it so strap her down i guess well there you go that's how to do a frame off restoration on a chevy in one day i mean she's she's perfect we did everything to her basically if you want to see more of beats the service truck let me know bleep blooper down below but don't just put yeah more i mean you got to say like what you want to see and stuff give a feller some ideas it really helps and of course, you are going to see more of the Barn Fine 79 Camaro. It's good. I think you're going to like it. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it a lot. If you think you're subscribed, you might want to check. Something weird happened with the old YouTube, and some of you guys got automatically unsubscribed for some reason. So make sure to mash that button and then hit the notification button because it'll tell you when stuff like this gets uploaded into the machine and does the stuff. So thanks, guys. Appreciate it. See you next time.